Welcome to the channel all about economic board games. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview of Kanban Automotive Revolution. So this is a game brought to you by the guys at the bottom here, Stronghold Games, and you've got the designer there as well. Now it plays 2 to 4, says so 60 minutes to 120. That is more like 3 hours, 2 to 3 hours in my opinion. And in this game we are basically workers heading to this factory that's producing all sorts of cars, and we're trying our best in in the working day to design them produce them get all the parts needed to impress this lady here sandra and she's either going to be in a good or a mean mo uh, mode mood should i say and you'll sort of choose that at the beginning of the game you can see you're going to go for the nice mood and she's going to be rewarding you for things you do whoever's the most trained in the area or are you going to be playing her in the mean mood and you're going to be losing points if you don't have for example a penalty for having two or fewer so you'll you'll pick the mood that she's going to be in now here's the board here and there is a lot going on folks so i'm trying to zoom out there so you can see all of it and it's a heavy complexity game this one now it is an overview as i say i'm not going to be able to go into all the rules intricacies i will hopefully bring you a run through next week so if you want to see a better insight into how it plays so firstly then we have your player board in front of you here we've got yellows and blues sort of a two-player setup you've got your meeple here you're going to be sending out to do tasks in a working day this is where you're tinkering with designs you'll be acquiring at the bottom here you've got some training books you may be able to sort of acquire and put out in different areas these are sort of bonus goods you can get choose one if you can this is where you stash those goods and i'm just going to call them uh, parts for now they've all got different names you know like chassis for the black one brakes for the white uh, you've got this top bit where you're going to actually store the cars and they give you bonuses various things there and this is where you're going to upgrade designs and stash them on the side now you notice all these pad Locks as well the padlocks as you get more certified and trained will let you reveal them and host more designs here let you upgrade stuff for uh, uh, innovations and you know store more goods so that's sort of your player board you'll also have two of these sort of kanban cards and these are going to let you get goods in the logistics but i'll go through them shortly and you've got a few of these sort of end of uh, goals to achieve during meetings as well sort of pet projects so we call them so looking at the board then i talked about you are workers going to work in this factory you've got several areas you can go to and when you send your worker out you'll sort of determine turn order at the beginning of the game by going on to sort of say if yellow player goes right i want to go here and get one of these extra shift times you can spend next player says right i'm going to go for the the extra good which you remember you store just on the end with points as well if you keep it in again so blue has taken the sort of least valuable uh, of the options so they're going to be going first and you can see as you get more certified you get more goodies and you get to talk first at the board meeting but i'm sort of shooting ahead here so blue's going to go first then and blue literally just takes their worker and they choose one of these areas to go in and you can see that the areas you place them so typical worker placement you've got two spots in this area two up there two in logistics two down here in design two in administration and there is sandra in her office waiting and she stays in there for day one and then she will come out and start reviewing you from day two onwards so the areas you can pick then the first one area one is this uh what's it called testing and innovation and what's all this area about this is where the pace car is going to be going round and when it gets to this area it's going to be triggering this meeting it's the only way to trigger the meeting and you can see you sort of got three meeting potentials there and as a car comes out from this area it's going to be going behind the pace car and i'll sort of say how you get those cars in a minute but these are how you get cars to test so these are all being tested on this track so you could one thing in this area you could take a car you can see the cost of doing so so the first car behind the pace car is going to cost you one time and then two time two time and three time depending on which car you want to take so if there's three cars you're going to have to pay two time if there's four cars and you want the last one you can see it's going to cost you three time now go in here you've got two choices so you can go here and get three shifts basically so your working day is made of four shifts so four quadrants and you are going to have a choice to go in two and three now turn order matters because if you go for the three 
and someone else comes along and takes the two, it works in player order from left to right. So they will get first dibs to go first, which is crucial in this area because if you really wanted that green car and you sort of were a bit cheeky and thought, you know what, I'll go there, but I'll take the free shifts because it'll give me more options. If yellow comes along and sneaks this one, uh, they might take that green car that you really wanted. So that's sort of player order from left to right and sort of where you're going to go. Now in here, you can also, like all the departments, you can go and do training. So you can literally just go up here one once you get past this area here you're going to get more certified which is sort of where as is explained on your board in this case you could take one off the uh, innovation and get the option to to move that up there on, on this sort of part here which i'll go through next you can also um upgrade and innovate these designs so let's just say you've acquired this design here you can see that if you improve the chassis which is the black cube in this case you get to turn it over and you get instant vps and it shows that you have improved this car chassis the the company or you, your good workers has made that black car more improved in this factory and for doing so you get to take that black cube you would have spent to to upgrade it and you put it anywhere in the, the black car section so you can see one i've already set one up here you could go and get one extra time means you can go and get one of these sort of tokens and you don't get the stuff there and then you have to wait for the next round and that would improve your your time on here so you've gained the benefit and you can see at the bottom here you will improve its innovation so it'll go to two and basically at the end of the week you're going to be potentially scoring points for for your two points or so for each upgraded one per car uh, so say if you've got one black car here at the end of the week and that'll sort of be when sandra gets back to her office you're going to get two victory points for each black car you've got with per uh, upgraded design so two in that case and the more cars the more points you're going to get now you want to do more innovations on the black car so the more things you improve let's just say you improve the the orange aspect of the car this is going to go up and that's going to be with more victory points at the end of the game depending on how many cars you've got and how many upgrades you've done to that car so this is the innovation side of it you can get some nice benefits and you can see there's a few extra sort of uh, possibilities to get extra seats at the boardroom by having the first person to get two uh, innovations uh, designs and, and free and whoever's got three cars or five cars in the garage at the top so not only do you acquire these benefits you could choose you want it here and get two books for training but you're also going to get an extra seat so that's kind of what you're doing on this area here test and innovation I'll, I'll sort of discuss a bit more about the training aspect so as you go past here you're going to get that uh, certification which not only gives you that extra benefit we mentioned on here but you're also going to go up onto the next stage here so you start on zero with that determined play order uh, let's just say that was yellow so they get first dibs in here let's say they go for the free victory points now whoever is the furthest right along this whole track is going to be the first to speak at the boardroom in which all will become apparent soon so the next area is this assembly line and this is where you get all the cars out now in terms of i'm going to skip ahead to the design area actually because it'll make a lot more sense as to what uh, is needed to get those cars out so this is the design area and you can see the sort of white outline sort of distinguishes that from everywhere so let's just say yellow went here they get two shifts and they could choose two of these designs and you can see these designs at the end have been hanging around the design department for a while and you get potential to get an extra time or an extra training book but let's just say we went for this one because we want to sacrifice it to do something in a minute and we wanted the blue one so you'd literally plonk those in your area you can see we've got a couple of red ones here already you can only reach the maximum capacity and they'll all make sense in a minute you then replenish these at the end of your go there's, there's loads on offer there so that's one thing you could do there you could do the training uh, like in the other department and those designs and that's how you acquire them and they're important because when you go to the innovation they're the things you're going to be want to testing on so let's just say for example this blue one we took if we did manage to get a pink cube we could use that in that innovation department we've already discussed to turn it over we get two vps and we've improved the engine in this case and that was this whole area about going to which one was it the blues in this case so that is designs you want to get the designs you want to go and test them but you then also or not test them but improve the innovations you want to get these cars and that's how you go free for the assembly line now when you go here you will be having to put a cube down on one of these areas depending on which one you want to produce so let's just say we go for black now you can see black has a requirement we've improved the chassis i'll get rid of this orange one we've improved the chassis so to do so you have to put a black cube first someone else has already done that next cube we can put down is any color so let's just go for an orange in this case uh, once they're full they'll all be taken off but more importantly we're getting a black car 
and we have sort of put it on here for testing and we shift the others down based on the arrow so this one oh there's one missing there actually so let's get another black one so that would have pushed that one that pushes out that pushes out you follow the arrows we could either go down here or maybe we could go across and push this green one down and then the green one pushes this blue one out and you can see depending on where it comes out you might get victory points so two victory points uh, for that blue one coming out here now on the side you've got a demand token so there's demand for green cars and demand for yellow unfortunately it was a blue car now if we had a yellow one we would have been able to take one of those seats which gives us more power and influence at the uh, the meeting there well not more power and influence but more opportunities so I say to, to talk about things you've achieved now this blue car then comes out you've got your two points it then goes on the uh, the track here behind the pace car and that's it now if you did go to this area and you uh, well, an area we've already discussed. Uh, I forgot to add that if you did buy a car and you paid the time, the pace car moves up one space forward and these other cars just follow suit behind it. And I think I already said that if it's ever on the checkered flag or, or beyond it, you uh, move this meeting token or it's top it and you're going to be having a meeting. And that is literally it for this area. So you're putting cubes at the top, you're pushing cars down, you're pushing them into this area here because you're hoping to acquire them to add them to your garage, which is a way to score points. Uh, over to the middle logistics section then. So here is where you're going to be getting these cubes for, you know, fulfilling those designs and, and spending them at the top of assembly. Now, how are you going to get these cubes? So you, let's just say yellow, it's gone here they've got two actions so you've got these things called kanban cards which i sort of showed in front of you you start with two now all sorts of random colors you pick one that you fancy and they're normally hidden you go here you're going to spend the time but you also gain the time as well so now you, you've got this sort of line and you pick you're going to have those four there and that two there or you're going to do this so that sort of configuration you can turn it around any any way you want now let's just say we went here you're then going to replenish the departments that match the colors so you can see We've got two orange, but orange is annoyingly on this side, so that isn't applicable. Pink is here, so we put one pink there. Black is annoyingly on this side, so we wouldn't do black. White annoyingly is on that side, so we wouldn't do that, and yellow is on that side, so that really wouldn't be the best configuration. But if you really wanted that pink cube for some reason, then that's what you'd do, but you'd more likely probably do that maybe. So the white would pay out, the yellow would pay out, the black would pay out, the pink wouldn't pay out, and the two orange would pay out. So very important how you locate that. So that's one action you could do to get the goods out. The next thing you could do is take an action to train. So again, you can do that on any department, and you could also spend an action to take all the cubes from one area so maybe we just wanted to take these blue cubes bang that's one action put them in our uh, player board and remember there's only so many cubes you can store unless you unlock this and get your extra one there should be a, a lock token on there which is moved there we go so that's all about logistics and that's how you just want to get the cubes essentially over to administration then so you can see here if you can't do anything uh, you, if you can't do what you really want to do let's say for example blue and yellow are here and it's a free player game and green really wanted to go to logistics they could go over to administration and that allows you to do an action anywhere from the board even if people are there which is great and you can also see sandra's office there and at the top here is the week track now i should say how is the game going to end so from week to week uh, when she gets back to her office so she's going to be coming all the way around and i'll sort of go through that turn order in a minute once one week's done you're going to score some points now on the back of this sort of nice and mean mode you can see end of week scoring so two points for each upgrade you made and one point for each upgrade someone else made i'm not going to go too heavy onto that because there's, there's a little bit of complicant a uh, little bit as to how many cars you got and how many upgrades you got and stuff so but basically uh, if you have the weeks get to number three and the well, we got the testing of, of cars has got to number two. That triggers game end or vice versa. If this gets to three and the end of each gets to two, then that triggers it as well. And the boardroom then. So what is going to happen when a meeting is triggered and that's only triggered by this big white cube from the uh, testing and innovation area? You are all going to be vying for these. Well, you've already acquired these seats. You can see blue's got one seat. They've acquired two for yellow. They're going to be revealed as you get seats from either bonus or you get them from from completing objectives and a host of other places as well and the more seats you've got the more chances you've got to impress sandra now you can see there's four to begin with and let's just pick one to sort of show you what it does and you've also got those pet projects as well so in this case 
whoever is highest on this sort of um, certification track goes first yellows here and yellows are like right i'm going to go for this one so they put one of the seats on here you can only have two players two seats that go on here and you can see you're going to score four points for each red car you have in your garage and up to two though so you've got two cars you can do it eight points great if you've got three cars you can only do two of them now the whole point of this is that the first player there gets the benefit of doing the two the next player goes there sandra's a little bit bored and she's like right it goes down to one so it always goes down one for the next player so they will only have the opportunity to score four points for the one car even if they had like four cars so that's the the key to getting there first is to to make the most of it you could also choose one of your pet projects to so say if um what have we got these guys went here you can see whoever has the most upgrades for this particular part is going to get two you can do it twice and you get four points for each so you might want to work on one of those pet projects and once everyone has put seats out and you you know if you've only got one seat you haven't got a lot of options but if you've got two maybe you want to use them all now you'll tend to find that in the first round or so there's um you know not too much you can go for so you're kind of saving them and that is literally the meeting you put this cube back and you literally continue now going back to this sort of turn order you can see that you've got the in this case two shifts you can work out of four if you wanted to do the other two shifts you could come over and you could spend some time so let's just say yellow's acquired a couple of shifts they could spend up to two to complete that full day's work now if it was blue in this case they could only spend one more time to complete the the working day you couldn't just do your free actions and then spend three more because you you're going over the four shifts in a day now what happens to sandra then so these guys have placed their first meeples on that day on the next turn so yellow's done their action they lie down blue's done theirs sandra then becomes active and she chooses the first available uh, workspace from left to right so this one's available she goes there and then well, what would happen actually let me just start again so these guys have uh, have done their goes whoever is the furthest left yellow will go first so kind of interesting mechanic there whereas you know um whoever's uh you know you, you your first player there so you potentially could just go boom i'm going here and your first player again and again so but that sort of limits what options you're doing so let's just say yellow go there it's now over to blue they're face down so they get to the side and they're like right i'm going here it's then over to sandra now she, what she does is she works her way from left to right this workspace is full she goes here and you can see yellow players got in there just in time because when she uh, when the yellow player maybe does a bit of training in this department they're like right i'm gonna go up it means they potentially get rewards for for sandra's uh, review of this area and blue goes and then let's just give you another example of this so yellow's being pink is going green so so it's over to the next round yellow's going to go first and yellow's like right i kind of know sandra's going to be going over to this department i'm going to go here then it's sandra and she's like right someone's in that workspace someone's in that workspace she passes it completely and goes over to here so then it's up to blue and they're like right i know sandra's you know over there now i'm going to go free and get maximum spots so you can see how the, the interesting play between where you go and where sandra uh, finishes up is, is is massive now sandra when she gets to an apartment you can see on here that let's just say she's in logistics at the moment she's going to literally in a good mood she's going to see uh, the parts so she's going to remove all parts uh, but one from each warehouse and it's going to be a reward for having two or more so if there's two or more parts you and you're the highest on the training you can see they're both uh, even at the moment you're going to get some points wow there is a lot going on here folks i've probably missed a few bits and bobs but that is essentially it. you get these designs you're trying to improve them you're trying to get the parts from logistics as required you're trying to you know innovate these these designs you're trying to then get cars out of the assembly line you're trying to grab them onto your garage and then at the end of the week you're going to score points for those you're going to score points at the end of the round for having innovated stuff and you're trying to you know get certified in different areas because you can see whoever goes furthest that you got five three and one and you get bonuses and more seats and at the end of the uh, at the end of the when the meeting's happening you're going to want to get victory points for completing these if that zooms in and from your pet projects as well and there's just a host of other vps just all over the place for you know these here these here these bonuses so a lot of goodness going on this is not for the faint heart of this game i think if you want something a little bit simpler maybe try automania is another one that's quite similar and it's got a bit more of that demand and the markets in it as well well, whereas this is more focused on that sort of production side and the intricacies of, of designing good cars 
an impression, Sandra, in the board meeting. So there we are, folks. Hope that's been of use to you guys.